Hey guys, and welcome back to more Cross of the Dutchman. Let's do our new spin attack. Oh yeah, look at that. These are pretty handy. So that's super good because with the with the sword, anyway, you can quite easily deal with the remainder. So I'm happy with a strong attack like that. Cause look at the big area, wide area you can clear. Like you can switch back to the fist if that's what you want to use. Like, but I don't really recommend it. The sword's way better. So I recommend taking a swing out of the first couple, then you can use your attack to finish off the rest. Uh, I like to clear up archers before I fight the next wave as well. Coloration is how you know how powerful guys are, but see like this is a more powerful archer Because he's black and he has a hat. Thank you. I'm sure you have killed if I had fought them all by myself well, I was glad to have some aid to those who opposed Saxon. This is we came to see you by the way How come? We have your friend in arm told us to find you. We're looking for good men for the resistance You've saved my life and only will pay you by journey. The camp is ours to take. Since we got more men to match the numbers. Agreed. Find others in arm per their encampment. Word, I'll return to you later. I think he used the wrong name there. I think he's supposed to use that guy's name instead of Word. Or is, unless he's saying, trying to say like me and Word will turn later, but. Oh, we're going back home. Oh, that'll be quite a walk. But I really want to cut the video because every time there's like a big walking interlude, they always put like dialogue and stuff in it, so. If I, if I cut it out, there'll be like five minutes, or like 30 seconds after I cut out, there'll be a dialogue interlude, I guarantee it. See? Right there. Where are we going, Pierre? Home. It's been too long already. I need to make sure my family is safe. See? Good family, man. Is that a dead normal guy, or is... Doesn't really look like a soldier, but... I just want to double check. We have to walk. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure where we are. Oh, I know where we are now. Okay. We have to walk this way, go around the town, and then come back down. Makes sense. Now, you don't have any more potions, do you? Yeah, I bought them all. And you just have the skills, and I already bought the one I wanted. The wife of yours. Really needs to be something else if she can keep someone like you in line. What was that? Oh, nothing. Let's learn to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> She's a very nice lady, actually. I would check on John's old lady, but she'd be like, squawking at me and saying, I don't need no man to take care of me. So that's chapter six completed. Ha! Ah, I'll find see where you live. Don't think much of it. It's just a farm. I just want to double check, see if there's any gold in there. Oh yeah, that's when you had to run around. I guess we can go around this way to see if there's any gold or anything in here. Perfect. Hey, what's the... Peter, I didn't expect to find you here. Hi there, Peter. Uh, I wanted to let you know... Well, a lot of men have been poured to me saying that will join the cars against Saxons. Well, that's very good news. Guess what people don't like having them around. It's my daughter. My son. Hey, son. Hi, Dad. Can I play with your sword? Uh, maybe tomorrow. If I want to play with it now, please, Daddy. Sorry, son, but I need it today. <laughs> that's funny. Where'd the little brat go? I want to talk to my daughter. Hey, Dad. I bet you can't get me. Ha! <laughs> you might be right about that, little girl. Probably some more stuff to smash there for some gold. Good, good. Let's 
I'll smash this and then we'll go and talk to our wife. Or did I just miss her? Oh, she's walking around too, just where I was. <laughs> You're back in one piece. Oh, and I see you brought a stranger. Vince, meet Word. He's my kin. I ran into him when I left here. He's been at my side ever since. Pierre, your child and wife is really something else. No good ideas. Oh, stop, Pierre. Nice to meet you, Word. Okay, well, I'll talk to Peter again then. I just talked to him. Ah, there you are. Things are looking up. The Saks haven't really shown himself for a while now. That's great to hear. Been neglected my duties on the farm way too much. I only need to get some work done while I'm here. Plowing the fields. The chapter is called Allies in Danger and I'm plowing the fields. Oh, whatever. I'll go plow the fields, like they said. You peasant! Looking for a man who's called Grep Pierre. Tell us where he lives. He might just let you live. Grep Pierre? Who might that be? A vigilante, a murderer, a thief. He's got dozens of sacks and he needs to be put to justice. Well, I know a guy called Pierre Dona. See that farm over there? That's where he lives. Good. Now get out of our... And he is standing right before you. Oh, nice. Using the plow to beat him down. As Pierre worked the field, he was poached by a group of five soldiers. And when that man comes so close to his farm, Pierre grabbed two soldiers. As Master said so hard, their helmets buckled. Pierre made sure it worked the other soldiers, and word heard the noise coming from the fields and rushed to his aid. They knew where to find me. Are you alright, Pierre? We heard. What are those soldiers doing here? I'm not harmed, as long as they didn't. Ritz! If they laid one hands on her. Vince is my daughter, by the way. Make sure Vince is okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Vince is my wife, sorry. Vince, are you okay? Of course, I know how to handle myself. Those black sides have gone too far. Got rid of them once and for all. You're right, Pierre. We need to. But we need to rest now. No use resting into anything. You're not fighting fit for. Hmm. Guess you're right. I'll move first thing in the morning. So my wife even dealt with us, Axton. So later that day. Talk to her. So happy you were hurt. Please be careful, Pierre. Okay. Well, I guess we had to talk to him in a certain order, possibly. You really had something special going on here, Pierre. Perhaps uh, I think about settling down too. Pierre, we got Abbas and Kibsworth. They're about to hang John and Sibbert. Hurry! Willick, what are you talking about? John and Sibbert are in trouble? We need to help them now! Well, let's go quick then. I need to move quickly. My friends are in trouble. No time to mess about. Soldiers guard road. I better be careful. Oh, I'm doing the sneaky thing now. I think that way's blocked. Hmm. I just find it so fun. Why do I have to do a sneaky part? I fought like 70 soldiers at once. Like. Word. Just risk it and see if I can. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, oh, that's one fucking thing about this game that's so frustrating. Why put a sneaky part in? And then you have to start all over? Oh, Jesus Christ. So they have a time limit, a sneaking part.
Like, oh my god. So frustrating. Why do we need sneaking parts? Jesus. Oh. Hate it so much. Okay, well hopefully I can sneak right past this guy. Maybe if we go... Nope, that's not a good idea. Get past that guy. Okay, well I'm gonna go this way then. No, possibly not. Doesn't look like really any way to get past that guy. Can you go across this field and around? Starting from the draw from the top. Now we're good. So I want to make sure you take care of all those archers before they deal too much damage to you. Now start sneaking. Skip, skip the text. Go between them, wait. Really that confident in me past that guy. I really want the whole thing. But yeah, seriously, I have limited time to make it there. That guy must be blind as a bat. So this is the way. I have to get past this guy again. Another guy there. So the time's ticking down. I don't know, yeah, see, I knew it was going to turn around, I didn't want him to turn around and catch me, so. No. Nope. That way blocked off. Jesus Christ. Whatever guys, I don't think this part's very interesting to you guys, so I'm going to cut it out and we'll be back after this part. And we'll actually see the end of chapter 7. See you guys in a bit.